George is asking Smokey to step back by putting her hand on his nose, fingers on either side of the bone on his nose. He's a little bit resistant to that, so it's something we haven't done a lot of, and um, we could practice just slowly getting him to put his head down so he can back in a nicer frame. But that's the idea. Back your horse with a very light touch to the nose. Now Bridge is using the light pressure of the stick against Smokey's chest and waiting for him to just back away from the pressure. He doesn't follow him with the pressure, just lets him back away. She's going to demonstrate it again. You notice that Smokey got his own ideas about this. He has a good play with the stick before he thinks of backing off. It's an important just to allow the horse to time to learn to back off the pressure, which she did. And from that, you can move quite nicely into backing from hand on the chest. This is one that Bridget uses a lot, and the horse is very responsive, as you can see. Just very light pressure of her fingers on his chest. I'm going to click in a treat after each one. So that's a nice rhythm. Hand signals. Bridge is just using her hands to suggest to Smokey that he moves back. You can make this more sophisticated by timing your finger movement to the movement of his front feet. It takes a little bit of practice, but the horses um, pick that up quite quickly and quite enjoy the rhythmic nature of it. You can also use more energy if you need to at the beginning. And you can also use a technique where you're sort of flicking water about the level of their eyes. You have a horse that's a little bit reluctant to step back at the beginning with just hand signals. So this is a flicking water technique. Probably want to refine it as the horse has got to understand it. Now this last one uh, Bridget could be clapping her hands, and as she gets to the horse, put her hands on either side of his nose. Wiggling the rope. If the horse needs to get back in a hurry and your mind's on a whole bunch of things happening at once, if he knows how to back with a wiggle of the rope, it's really helpful. Bridget's giving him a click and treat for going back because that's a positive thing. She doesn't want sending him back to be a negative thing in his mind. And then whenever you send the horse back, you have to make sure you've got the return as well. She's giving him a cook and a treat for the return. I think she's going to send him back again. This is sort of a quick, rough and ready way to get your horse back. It's quite annoying to the horse, so the less you have to use it, the better. But you should be able to use it if you need to do it in a hurry for whatever reason and call him back in. Wiggle rope plus wiggling the stick and string. This is what you use if you've got a horse that's just about to leap on you and you really just need to get him back off you. So if you've got your stick and string handy, you up the energy so that definitely the horse will go back and you keep your feet still while you do it. So the horse is moving his feet a lot more than you are. Again, not something you would use when you're schooling. It's something that you would use only pretty much in an emergency to get the horse off you. So if you gradually teach him the more refined ways of backing up. The formal to and fro game, where you just raise your finger and if you needed to, you would put more energy in with your wrist, elbow, and shoulder. And twirling end of the rope. Again, sometimes if the horse is either very pushy or very mouthy, you just want to get him out of your space. 
then twirling the end of the rope can be really useful. Also a horse that might be out in the paddock and you're walking in the paddock and you've got a rope or a string with you, you can make yourself a big bubble. And a big bubble can sometimes be a very safe thing around a horse. So you're using that to enlarge your personal space. Whatever energy level you need at the time. And the ninth would be a verbal cue that you use along with all these physical cues you've been looking at. Thanks for watching.